What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachi TV, man. Today, we got King Lil J claims King Von was scared of him, addresses altercation with King Von's sister. Part 17 of the Say Cheese interview, man. Shout out Say Cheese. Because he split this up into so many different parts. More parts than I can keep up with, man. But this is the most recent upload from the Lil J interview, man. So this is actually a very interesting topic because we know how well-respected Lil J is in Chicago. We know how well-respected King Von was in Chicago. So I really want to hear what he got to say about this, man. <laughs> Okay, now you're in jail, 63rd, your hood, your, your street, your block, your neighborhood, it's becoming a national tourist spot, everybody talking about how they're knocking 63rd, how does that make you feel? Shit, tell you the truth, I ain't hear that shit till like 2020, motherfuckers saying that shit, we ain't hear that shit in the county, I got in a joint, I heard it, but I'm like, shorty must be chasing some cloud or something, I don't get no fuck, don't be for 63rd. But you can't come over there. Yeah. He passed away in Atlanta. When you're in Illinois, when you're in the jail, what's the reaction like? Just laugh. That's the streets, man. You, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. That shit come with it. I mean, I wasn't happy or nothing. Shit, it's another, another off dead shit. Put his ass on the scoreboard. I don't get no fuck. Honestly, though, like, what else did we expect this nigga to say, though? On some real shit. That was his op. He dissed his homies that died. They back and forth. It's it's Chicago gang culture. It's gang culture overall. You know what I mean? So another, another op did shit. Put his ass on the scoreboard. I don't get no fuck. Yeah. You know, it seems like. You know, you said that was your shorty, but after time changed, it was you know he would say little things about you on IG live and. You would respond back. I think your girl was on, on the phone, and you know you were talking to your fans, and you you responded back. Where did the divide come in? At? How did he become your shorty? To, you know, he was still my shorty, man. He was scared of me, man. What <laughs> fuck is no double O, man? That was still my shorty, man. And I already know it's gonna be some comments. You know, people gonna be like, you know, Von. We know how Von got down, nigga. We know the bodies that Von caught and everything that Vaughn was into. But a lot of, I feel like a lot of the newer fans that didn't really catch tune to drill until King Vaughn started rapping, they don't know a lot about Lil J. Now Lil J, you know, you look at the history of Chicago drill, nigga, both sides got killers. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like, oh, you know, the niggas in O'Block, they the only killers in Chicago, cause that's not the, that's not, that's not the case, nigga. Vaughn caught bodies, I guarantee a lot of them niggas off of 63rd caught bodies too. But Lil J, it was a time in Chicago where Lil J was not a nigga to really mess around with. A lot of them guys on J side, just like a lot of the guys on Vaughn and Chief Keefe and them side, was a lot of guys you don't want to mess with. But like Lil J said, when it comes down to, to you know, that's, that's the culture. You know, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. It's just my thing with this, and you know, Lil J, you know, he's he's back out the first day clout and everything. He's doing crazy numbers. I know he got bars of clout. I'm um, another part of part, bars of clout about to come out too. It's like, you know, I understand, you know, this is where you from. This is where you, what you about. You got to kind of make your claim and make it be known like, nigga, I'm back and ain't nobody about to fuck with me, man. But, you know, you did seven years. Seven years. And, you know, prison can either change you. Or it can, it can change you for the better or it can change you for the worse. It ain't no either or. And I feel like right now, just from just this interview, and I haven't seen the other interviews, man, but I feel like Lil J even more on Demon Time than he was back in 2011, 2012. And it's like, and that, it kind of brings back to the point of you live by the gun, you die by the gun. I hate to see something happen to Lil J. You know, I, I advise that he move militant out here because these interviews, man, you know, they get around, they accumulate numbers and whatnot, man. I'm pretty sure Lil J, you know, he well prepared for if anything like that were to happen, man. But, you know, we've seen it happen too many times. We lost so much talent. You know, Lil J is the last of a the last of a of a of a generation of drill, you know what I mean? You know, we lost Duck. We lost a lot of people to to the system. We lost a lot of people to the streets. And, you know, I hate to see something happen to this man. Honestly, you know. Like I said, I've been a fan of Lil J. I've been a fan of 
the entire Chicago drill movement, my guy. So, you know, I just, his mentality, I, I just hope that, you know, just take more of a approach to the music thing. If you're going to do it that way, keep it on wax. You know what I mean? Because, you know. <laughs> what the fuck is the double O, man? That was still my sweaty, man. He went on shit, man. See these niggas, Shaq right? That music shit might sing good, man. See these niggas out here? Niggas not on the crown. Yeah, that's a bold statement. Now, there are also people saying that there was a, a house party before and uh, you had got in tour with his sister. To my Kayla B. <laughs> Man, I don't know what they talking about, man. <laughs> oh, somebody got they the crazy, details though. on that. What's the details? I ain't get it to yeah, it, nobody. Duck, yeah, Duck Mom had said something about it. I think y'all had like a, a little altercation. Yeah, man. You know, it should be happening, man. It's, I don't be no ops, op hoes, op niggas don't come around me, man. No, somebody got to know the details on that, man. I know y'all niggas be studying in Chicago, like the back of y'all hand, like y'all getting ready for a final exam, nigga. Somebody got the story on Caleb B and Lil J, man. Hold on. Let me know something down in the comments, man. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. What King Lil J had to say about King Von, claiming that King Von was scared of him, man. So sound off down below, man. I'll also leave a link to this portion of the interview from Say Cheese. In my description down below if y'all new to the channel y'all rock with me one daily reaction videos hit that subscribe button follow me to the next video i'll see y'all then thank you for watching money tv i'm out